What we have here is an Agrofab dethatcher, and this thing is great if you've got a larger property. And by larger, I mean, if you use a lawn tractor to mow your lawn, you're probably going to want to get a tow behind dethatcher like this. You can put some weight on here if you're looking to scarify or get really deep into the lawn, you can put weight on here. But if you're just doing a basic dethatch, you don't need to do that. And then you have the handle here, which raises it up so you can pull it around without dethatching and then lower it down. Then you've got the hitch here where you drop your hitch pin through and then you can hook it onto your tractor. Drop it down, put your pin through and then you can hook it up if you're using a different type of pin. Then you'll know how to use that, but here I'm just using the standard pin that comes with it. Dethatching with this Agrofab dethatcher is really simple. All I'm going to do is drive across my yard and then I'm going to go up and down my yard after I've finished going across. And this is what we end up picking up, all this dead matter. Some of it is good grass, but most of it's just dead. And if you're not too sure what thatch is, it's all the dead stuff that's sitting above the soil, but below the grass canopy that you can't see. That's stopping all the nutrients getting down into the soil. So we're gonna be fertilizing today and we wanna get all this away so the fertilizer can get to the soil so that the fertilizer gets into the soil and then the grass can actually get those nutrients that we're putting down onto the lawn or else it's just a waste and you don't get the best benefit from your fertilizer. Take a closer look at the tines here. You can see that they're really far apart. They're about four and a half, maybe five inches apart from each other. And that means there's going to be this gap in between here that you don't dethatch. That's why you need to go over your yard a couple of times with this model here, whereas you wouldn't have to if you're using one of those smaller dethatchers that have tines that are really close together. Nonetheless, though, this does do a great job and you may have to go over your yard twice, but you're just sitting there towing everything around. We're going to go and go over this again and then we can pick all this up with the bag on the lawnmower and then take it off to the dump. This is really going to help us get the nutrients down into the soil that we need. Or if you're seeding, seed down to the soil, because what's important when you're seeding is seed soil contact. So we're not running any weight on this dethatcher here, but just look how much is coming off. I just like to pull some of this off, just gets a little bit much there. There's a lot there. If some of this is good grass is coming up, clearing it out a little bit, just thinning out. Some of my lawn is a little bit too thick. So there's no harm at all to the lawn. Puts underneath a little bit of stress, but the pros are going to outweigh that. We get some fertilizer down and the lawn's going to come back stronger than it was before. The grass that is there still is going to have more room to breathe instead of having so much grass there. That thick lawn is good, but when it's too thick, you do need to clean it out a little bit. The dethatcher is not big, but just bear in mind that it, storing it can be a little bit challenging. So I actually just store it here on top of my Agrofab core aerator and uh, you kind of sit like that and then I pile everything up around it. Troubles I have when doing this, uh, this chute gets clogged up sometimes, especially if the lawn's wet. It's actually really dry today, so or relatively dry today, so it shouldn't be too bad. Still, some of these big clumps, they do get caught up in that chute. Next thing. If you're going to be emptying these bags a lot, I reckon I'm going to have to empty those bags three, maybe four times on this yard here. Now, if you do dispose of your grass clippings and you just dump them in your bed of your truck or you use those paper bags, there's no need anymore. Just get a tarpaulin, lay it out, and then you can just pull this out when you get to the dump. I actually have an unloader, I just haven't set it up yet or got out of the box, but I will be using that on future projects. But this here is really simple, it means when you've got all the grass comes in, you can just pull them out really easily, get inside and then tip it out all the way. That's how you dethatch with the Agrifab tow behind the thatcher. So now we can overseed or put down a good quality fertilizer with this Yard Mastery Freedom. We're going to get much better results than we did before. I'll link this Yard Mastery Freedom fertilizer down in the description below. If you want to find out how to assemble the Agrifab dethatcher, check out this video over here. 